That's our relationships, man, because I definitely have to salute oh, to you. God. I mean, no, just because I feel like that a lot of black relationships don't get the right light. You know what I'm saying? And, and for you and your guy, y'all, y'all are a strong black couple and y'all support yeah. each other. What would you t- what, what would you tell people out there just about relationships and having a supporting partner, period? Um, with relationships, I mean, don't 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 try so hard. Like a, a lot of times in relationships, we we we're we adapt to what we know and we would just want to fix, 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 fix. Oh, this ain't going right. I mean, and we want to rush, rush, rush. It's patience. It's a lot of patience. It's a lot of effort. And it's a lot of energy, good or bad, but you just can't rush. And you got to find somebody that's down for you. And a, a lot of what I've learned in past relationships and what I didn't do in my last relationship that I'm in now, because I ain't going no back no more, is that you have to tell somebody what you want in the beginning. You got to show them who you are in the beginning. And you got to keep that 100 in the beginning. Because if somebody knows... I'm not going for this in the beginning. You can't come back five months, six months later and try to reintroduce that card because it's like, hey, man, I told you from the beginning I ain't going for this. Right. Vice versa. If a man shows you who he is day one, month out, believe him. Right. And if a woman shows you who she is, believe her. And then it's up to y'all two to work that out. If y'all know three months in the relationship, hey, she got attitude problem. Hey, he got this problem. You know, whatever it is, y'all going to either come with one common denominator do the love our way to hate. I mean, is it that bad? And then that's when you guys become just be friends. Right. Like me and my husband, we friends, regardless of the fact. Like I look, like I really can't stay mad at him. He probably can stay mad at me, but I can't stay mad at him. I start laughing like an hour later, and then <laughs> like he got like a four hour cap. I got an hour, and then he looking like, girl, we ain't talking right now. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, all right. I see him in four hours. Like that's friends. Like right. you and your friends don't beef too long. Don't try to beef so hard. Just try to work it out, talk it out. And I think that if everything was put on the table when you first walked through the door, you really shouldn't have any skeletons or any surprises like that's going to come up later. And that's the thing what I think people, they they don't do. They right. just rush for that instant gratification. Oh, give me my ring. Oh, I'm engaged. Oh, give me my baby. Oh, I got a baby. Oh, give me my wedding. Oh, look at the flowers. No. No, 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 no. Let's set this foundation. What you do, what I do, what could we do? How could we get this money together? Who you got that I could fire, that I could take position? Hey, who you got that we can hire? Who? Give me your team. Let them meet my team. Let's build together. And now we got an empire mm. because we put all the bricks together for us. It's a us thing. When you with somebody, it's not just you and me. No, 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 no. Well, I'm married, so, you know, we won. It's a difference. This right. ain't no boyfriend, girlfriend. I ain't saying do this with your shack-up partner. Like, right. make him make that commitment. If he wants you out enough, he got to take you off that market. And I ain't talking about putting that ring on your finger. Get me down that aisle. You get me down that aisle, I have your child. I raise your business. I do anything <laughs> you need me to do. Just get me, you know, you handle your business, and I'm going to handle mine. I love that. Okay. Do you, do you think, though, <laughs> you think it's harder to do music, like, on the come up, Versus you being like prima donna now. Because you know now, <laughs> yeah. people think you got money. Now they're trying to hit you yeah. for budgets. They trying to... You know what? <laughs> you know you might have certain connections. They trying to get something yeah. out of you. Do you think it's harder now? I think it's so much harder now. Because everything I rap about, it's, it's, they, they put this expectation on you. And it's like, when, we, when you get my mixtape, even with Premeditated, the first thing they thought was, oh, we going to hip out how to get this money or how to do this or whatever it is they thought, this boss, this, this empire. So you may hear some songs where I'm talking about struggling because that's where I come from. That's what I know. You know, I can go back to that lifestyle, you know, but it's the expectations. They want you to be this seasoned, polished rapper just because you are wealthy or because you have experience with, you know, business or all of this other stuff and it's like they they give you a chance but the chance is so slim because they they put you all the way up there you right. know what i mean you just go straight up there you don't even go with nobody who's up and coming you're not up and coming because they feel like your money ain't right but <laughs> so i mean i just i just try to just rap about my life right. what's going on right now my home girls what just what it is what and i mean to? yeah once they get the music they'll feel it like yeah, they okay. got to feel it. 